Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I am playing Boba Pop. An interesting story. In my experimental career as a VR developer, the game idea I've come up with is called Boba Time, where you run a bubble tea shop. Um, I've gotten nowhere with it so far. We've got three different flavors we can choose from. Mango, chocolate, and strawberry. I think we'll start out with a mango and go ahead and hit play. So we have 10 bobas. It's round one. I want to shoot the 10 there. That makes sense, right? Let's see if we can shoot over here. Let's, let's see if we can get around these. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's a lot of boba. Round four. This actually reminds me of a mobile game where you have to bounce a bunch of blocks to try to clear. All right, so let's see. We got we've got frozen boba now. Let's go up here. Okay, that one has 15 up there, so... There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get it up in the corner over there. There, yep, yep. So the ice definitely changes things up a bit. So, let's go over here. I don't know how many rounds we have. Nor do I really know if we have to clear them all or what the situation is here. Round 16. I'm gonna try to knock out this bomb. That cleared a ton. So I think we actually just want to make sure that they don't keep descending toward us here. Kind of that Tetris mechanic. We got, we're up to 14 bobas now. Which is good, I think. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Let's go bounce off this corner and see what we can get done. That was a lot of damage from a few of the spectacular boba that we're shooting with a straw right now. Let's a high-speed canvas this time and see what happens. So this game is also available on the Oculus Go. It, as you can see, doesn't take a lot of play mechanics to, to play this one. But I have to say the person that created it is a marketing genius because, like I said, took the concept of boba, uh, which is a soft tapioca jelly, by the way, in case you were wondering. It's not just a ball. And put it into an awesome looking, <laughs> kind of fun <laughs> VR experience. I again, this does remind me, I don't remember the name of the mobile game, but it reminds me a bit of, of a mobile title. I want to hit that lightning bolt back there, because I'm not sure what it is. Come on, get, get past these. Ah. Darn. Alright, let's try. Anyway, that 23 is important to get rid of. Gotta get rid of the 23. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish these, but let's see what happens. Closer and closer to the end. Let's see if we can knock these guys out and then knock these ones on the side out. Let's see what happens. Oh, 
that was cool because it cleared them entirely that time. Let's see if we can knock these guys down. So we got up to 20 straight bobas now. That's pretty cool. We got lots of different power-ups at this point. And like I said, it's a simple concept, and it probably doesn't need VR, but it's pretty fun and, and, and pretty immersive as well. It's not just a, not just your bo average boba game. Right, I want to get to the powerful one here so that for the next shot we can just blow up a bunch of stuff all at once. Cleared a ton. Lots and lots of boba getting destroyed. So we're at round 67 here for boba time. And again, this is the mango boba. I don't know what the difference between mango, chocolate, and strawberry is. Um, I'm assuming the different flavors have maybe either different difficulty levels or. different power-ups. Hard to say. Let's uh, ice things. These guys take a lot of boba bouncing here. finish this. But yeah, e even though it's a fairly simplistic game, only really uses one touch controller, it's got that arcade replayability. And yeah, we're, we're going to be dying fairly soon here. Kind of reminds me of Tetris as it gets to the edge here, and we're toasted. Game over. 65,000. High score is 517,000, so obviously we're nowhere near that. Um, but that was Mango. Let's, let's check out Chocolate real quick. And this one, I think they may have started out a little bit higher numbered. Than, than Mango did. It, it's really hard for me to say. It's definitely moving a lot faster toward me. So yeah, I think this is just slightly more difficult than the Mango level. Candy Rock Guy is a lifesaver. Alright, well I guess we'll pray for a Candy Rocket then. Ice is not a candy rocket, but that's fine. Let's see what happens. And so we've already died. Um, this one, Colonel Izzy, again, I'm sure that's probably the developer um, crushing the competition. Let's try Strawberry one time. Strawberry's got them stacked up. You can actually shoot them up. That's funny. I, I really like them flying back at me. Pretty awesome. Shoot the boba and have them shoot back at you. That's, that's cool. I, I'm gonna lose very quickly again, but the distraction is fun. I'm in, I'm really enjoying this. This is this is pretty sweet. That boba just went sailing.
Let's uh, bomb those bad boys back there. Alright, let's see if we can get these knocked out. Yeah, we did. Perfect. <laughs> the boba just hit me. That's hilarious. I, I actually am really getting amusement out of this, even though, like I said, it's a fairly simplistic concept. You can't go wrong with boba. And it's a very fun, it, and it's also child friendly. Uh, and kind of an addictive puzzle game. I don't remember. Oh, that just kills a line, okay. I totally didn't remember that from the previous board. Uh, let's knock these guys down because there's a lot of them. That worked out well. As the Bobas go sailing. Go for let's go for this side. Lots of rebound action that time. Let's try again. Okay, hit the wrong box there. Let's try this one. All right, let's go for the special. turning is kind of a challenge here. And again, when, when they hit me from afar, that, that's pretty sweet. I, I really... I, I applaud them for making the, the boba and the boba juice and, and, and everything just kind of fit in with this number-popping puzzle game. And I like how they made the, the, the levels different flavors. That's, that's pretty sweet. It definitely takes someone creative to, to come up with a concept like this. All the boba just sailing all over the place. Alright, let's... Let's kill these guys because they're, they're going to destroy us. This, this 35 is actually definitely going to kill us. And that's the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at Boba Pop. This was a lot of fun. This is available on both Oculus Rift and Oculus Go at the present time. Check it out if you have, a ha have the time for it and you enjoy this type of puzzle game. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. I really do have to go. Thanks, Bobo Pop.